Well, hey there, friends. It is Saturday evening, and it is about 7.30 at night, and I am in my room in my pajamas, and I am honestly absolutely exhausted. I am ready for bed like you would not believe. Um, but the night owl in me says, it's too early for bed at 7.30. Um, I am just, I'm physically exhausted, but I'm also um, emotionally exhausted in a really good way. Um, the past couple days, I've been um, getting my home ready for a big simulcast that we were doing with our Sensi team, and I wasn't speaking or anything like that. It was just a host home, but the simulcast was kind of um, an all-day event, and um, there were consultants from all over the world, actually, who were tuning in, and it was an incredible day of training, and um, I am just feeling emotionally spent in a good way. I was challenged today in so many areas and they go way beyond just my personal business. And the thing I want to leave you guys with tonight that's kind of been rolling around in my head is that I want to challenge you to find something that you are passionate about and hang on to it. I think as women, and especially as moms, we tend to put those dreams and heart passions on the back burner. Everyone else's needs come before ours. We are very selfless in that manner. We put our children's needs above us. We will go without so our kids can have. We sacrifice our time to spend with our husbands. Time that, you know, that you're away from your kids and so you have those moments of, those pockets of time where you can, you know, work on your hobby or your dream or your business or whatever it is. And really, you need to nurture your relationship with your husband. So you put your heart desires on the back burner again just to foster that relationship. Now, it's not a bad thing at all, but we we do that. Um, and those are very good things. Very good things. They're necessary things. But I want to encourage you to find something that you are passionate about and continue to hang on to it. Work it in however it needs to be worked in within your life. But it's so vital and so important as a woman to have something that you can believe in. For me, it's my business. I've been with my business now for four over four years, and it has radically changed me as a person. I hesitate to think where I would be if I had said no to the opportunity. My world is completely different between now and what it was, and I am forever grateful for it. And maybe your thing isn't a business. That's good. Like, have your own thing. Maybe it's a hobby that you absolutely love. Maybe it is something that you haven't yet started, but it's tugging at your heart. It is pulling at you, and you just know that you need to do something with it, and you haven't yet taken that first step. I want to encourage you so much to find that thing and hang on to it. The world needs more people that will come alive with fire and passion and do something with it. So often, I know personally in my own life, I sit back in the shadows, I don't take steps forward, I get my whole self all up involved and I talk myself out of everything because I'm the first one to know my weaknesses, I'm the first one to know that I'm not good enough, I don't have the qualifications, I, you know, I just, I know all my weaknesses. And those weaknesses and those things that I say to myself can quickly rob anything that, you know, God wants to do through me. And, I, you know, I say no because I'm afraid of failure, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It's something that I need to sit with a bit more and kind of work through and figure out. But today, as I was listening to these presenters, and I was being changed and challenged on a whole personal level, not just so much in like the tasks that I do to run a business and to run it well, but in who I am as a person, and I just realized that my thing is my business. I am so mad passionate about it. I love it. I love the relationships and the connections. And I love that I can make it my own, 
And I want to just encourage you to find something that you can do that with. Something that will bring relationships into your life. Something that you can share with your children. Something that will help you leave a legacy. I just, I just, I don't know. I just really want to encourage you in that way. Um, if you don't have anything, if there's nothing that you can say, gosh, well, I'm crazy passionate about this. I love this sort of thing. I would just want to encourage you to pray about it. Pray that the Lord would begin to reveal something to your heart of a place where you can just nudge yourself in and make a mark and a stamp in this world because you are needed. You are so needed and your passion and your excitement and your fervor, it's needed somewhere. There are people that need you and you may not know them yet, but they are needing you. They are needing you to fill a void and a hole. And whatever that thing is that is tugging at your heart. Dare to dream. Dare to be. Dare to rise up to the calling that is inside of your heart. That is such a crazy, crazy thing to think about. And it's a crazy thing to dare to like step into that role that maybe you are being called to step into. You can see your weaknesses. You feel that you're not qualified enough. But let me tell you. If there is a spot for you, you need to confidently walk through that, to go through that door, because this world needs you. So woman, mama, daughter, I want to encourage you to find something that you can grab onto that will make you come alive, and then go mad passionately after it, because this world needs you people like you.